So, while we prepare ourselves, let's listen to this wonderful number by Too Deep. It's called Case Closed. Enjoy. Yo, DC. Can, can, can you turn me up just a little bit, please? See, I know a lot of you got so many questions. They ask him where you been deep. True say I've been dealing with some issues deep. In the matter of time, the matter of time will matter with time. It's what my God might have said to me back in the time. Back in the time, that was when I had a lot on my mind. When joy and peace, I was hoping to find. People envying me, thinking my life is all blooming. But if they only knew, no, they wouldn't want to be me. So go ahead, you can have my craps. Take it. Walk in my shoes, you can take my steps. Fake it. Feeling overwhelmed and heavy laden. Shake it. It takes a lot to walk in my shoes, and now you know it. And the price to be paid, no, you can't choose it. See, this race is not for the swift, so I tailor my life when it. I put my life on the line, but not this story and rhyme. Maybe I should wait and release the book in my prime. Take you back, yo, back to the fact, yo. Kept in the belly of the will like Jonah. I was wild and then refused to commit to the calling. And that somewhat now became my atonement. So I'm committing to the calling. Now it's time to put my all in. Got bigger fish to fry, no anchovies. With a chuck to lafia, keep the hand trophy. Friends come and friends go, come will and woe. I went off track, focus, focus. Now I'm back on track. See, I'm staying focused. The difference is... I give them facts, huh? they give them stats, but that ain't the facts. That's right. To all those who got closer to me during my most vulnerable times, just to drop me in the lion's den, I want you to know I'm forgiven. James Spacey, I'm letting it go to the whole world right now, I'm letting it show. Some 71, verse 20 to 21, you bring comfort to my soul and you make me whole. James Spacey, I'm letting it go to the whole world right now, I'm letting it show. Some 71. Verse 20 to 21, you bring comfort to my soul and you make me whole. Uh-huh. I shed tears from depression in Harry's basement. I believe I went through my wilderness to make a statement. With all the tough lessons learned, I had to build a boat so I could stay afloat. Stronger the winds when sea billows roll. Hash wind tire cells are better against the waves. Mercy tempered with justice, oh yeah, Jehovah saved. He's mighty to save. He moved mountains, showered his blessings. Now behold, what a glorious fountain. Edifying, I get to tell my testimony. Forget the scar of us. I'm here to tell my own story Be not deceived, but you don't know my story Soft times don't last, all you see is the glory On Christ, the solid rock I stand Never trust in any man Ladies crushing, only one truly love me She my wifey, Florence, I place none above you I'm a daddy now, pleasures evermore, why bother now? Yummy, oh yeah, I'm parenting, oh yeah, tea, yeah. Gratitude, it's the small we wear at when you fear. Urban cognitive, the brand screaming love is timeless. On the gram, you can search a Google, you will find it. I was in a situation, made a bad decision. I was spiritually drained due to my depression. Christ, my soul, I don't even trust the system. This world's messed up. Die noble, are you with them? I've seen too many wolves, sheep don't impress me. Jeremiah 17, 5, Charlie, don't stress. Still the chorus on the key, 17 years counting A few brothers I know I could call family My perceptions of life changed when I was a bitter Yeah, you heard me right, don't make you less a sinner Christ set me free, yeah, the chains broke I'm in change clothes, obvious, the case closed It's obvious, the case closed It's obvious, the case closed All right, welcome back everyone. If you just tuned in, this is CY Radio Online. We're broadcasting live from the Karama House on the Domi St. John's Cabinet Road. And this is the Lunch Break Show. My name is Jifa. And today, we have an amazing guest with us. Now, I don't know, but if you listen to the song that was just played, it is by our very, very amazing guest who is here to spend time with us and talk about his newest project. Um, and so we're going to go right into it. It promises to be amazing, as always. Um, so without further ado, hi. Hello, Jifa. Hi, Julian. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much How for are coming. You doing? I'm doing okay. okay. I'm in good spirits. Okay. Thank you so much for asking. Bless up. Yep. Um, thank you for honoring our invitation, as always. Um, it's always a pleasure um, when we 
when we hear it, yes. <laughs> Every time we reach out, it's amazing um, to have fantastic people come by and, you know, spend time with us. So thank you so much for, for coming. All right. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, so essentially, this entire conversation is going to be about many different things. Um, yeah. Okay. A lot of the work that you've done over over the years, um, but we're going to go into that further and um, further um, into the show. But before we do that, please tell us more about yourself. Who is Jillian? I don't think a lot of people know you as Jillian, okay. <laughs> um, but please please share. What, what, who who is Jillian? Um, what is he best known for? Um, yeah. Yeah. Thanks once again. Sure. And greetings to everybody listening. Um, yeah. So. My government name is Julian Basie. Right. Yeah, I am. I am. Uh, I'm a. I'm a regular kid, just like everybody. Uh, I'm a married man. I have a wife. I have a, a beautiful daughter by God's grace. Um, I am uh, an entrepreneur. Okay. I I own a clothing and apparel brand. Right. Um, um and and um. I consider myself a humanitarian. Okay. I'm also a global citizen. Right. Um, I do graphic design, branding, and advertising as well. Wow. Yeah. Um, last uh, and and last but not the least, I would say that I'm also a music artist, but I consider that more of a calling. So mm. yeah, I okay. don't consider that as uh, a career. Okay. Yeah. Can we dig a little deeper into that? <laughs> so calling. Why is that? Yeah. Um. I believe every individual has a calling upon their life mm. and the most important thing is for you to actually realize or acknowledge that calling. Right. Um, since childhood, according to my parents, until the fifth time, whenever they tried christening me or mm. having my baby dedication, right. I would fall into coma or something weird will happen. Mm, that's wild. Notice I mentioned until the fifth time. Yeah. And spiritually, five symbolizes grace so oh, wow. hence the reason why i took that name upon myself i feel like i'm a destiny child so uh hence the name too deep in god's grace like, amazing yeah, stuff basically yeah. this is so, this is listen well, <laughs> guys clearly yeah. we are like we're, we're going in right too deep into god's grace i wanted to ask about why that name and i think you have done a fantastic job yeah. at you know detailing <laughs> that but why don't you walk us through um, your journey up until, you know, music? What what was school like for you? You know, what, what were some of the things that you experienced over time up, up okay. until now? Yeah, I would say Julian as a person, I'm a very introspective person. Okay. But over the, the, the period of the years, I believe life's experiences and encounters with people right. has made me a bit more of... Uh, uh, an outgoing person but even that it, it, it depends on how comfortable I feel and the congenial atmosphere in which I find myself right. or people who have known me for, for quite a long time that's how it feels like but basically um, if you want to know I attended uh, Morningstar School for okay. elementary Okay. I attended Achimota Senior High School Right. where I met Pastor Roderick right. <laughs> shout out to Pastor Rod yeah, shout out to Pastor Rod <laughs> And then I attended Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. Right. And then after my national service, I got the opportunity to travel to Canada to further my studies in graphic design media as well. So, yeah, right. after which I came back. Um, yeah. Fantastic so stuff. Yeah. Um, so, clearly, there's like a broad spectrum of things that you dabble in, not just music, but, yeah. you know, a lot of creative, other creative, and of course, business oriented stuff as well. That's yeah. amazing. How are you able to balance all of that? I would say it's just the grace of God. Mm. Um, anyone who's a family person knows that mm. it's not easy at all, right. especially when you have a child or, yeah. or kids come into the equation. Right. It, 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 it makes it a it's bit more of a critical. challenge. Your life changes yeah. forever. So yeah. Yeah, you have to. It's just the grace of God and leveraging your time properly. So Amazing yeah. stuff. Great. So um, you mentioned how for you, your music, your musical journey or you doing music was a calling. Yeah. I just want you to walk us through that process um, as well. What What was the musical journey like for you? Where did that begin? Yeah. Absolutely. So, fortunate for me, 
I grew up in a Christian home. My father is a pastor, actually. Okay. Yeah, so shout out to my dad. Hi, dad. <laughs> yeah, and my mom, who is also late. Um, oh, yeah, right. unfortunately. Yeah, God rest his soul that. and glory. But, um, yeah. excuse me. Basically, um, growing up, I got the opportunity to be singing or ministering at church. Okay. The music, aside, uh, aside the fact that it's the calling, I discovered that it's also a talent. Okay. Which I also see, uh, seem to have passionate uh, passion for. Okay. So in that regard, everything made more sense. Yeah. It, it, it tied in together. Yeah. So since childhood, I would be allowed to minister at church and all that. So right. it means that this is a journey that began like a long time it ago. It was destined to happen, Absolutely, isn't it? You know, yeah. It was very predestined yeah. to happen. So yeah. Um, and then so. Ministering at church from childhood while I was in elementary. And then I got to Achimota Senior High School mm-hmm. where I met a group of friends. Uh, it was me, Casey Owusu, God rest his soul in glory. Right. Uh, Jay Shady, who is now known as Minister Kofi Otri. Oh, yeah. nice. We're, okay. We're, yeah, we were in a group together. Okay. Um, Godwin Kuka, also known as Decorous Beat, the, wow. the, the popular Decorous Beat. Yeah. And uh, there was a uh, yeah it was it was the four of us or nice. the four of us so we met at the Chimot during senior high school okay but Jay Shady wasn't from Achimota school it was only the three of us okay yeah and right. around that time to be honest with you you know how senior high school goes like you're still in search of yourself yeah it's so, like to find absolutely yeah, find so we're yourself. doing multi multi genres and all that yeah yeah um, also. It was during senior high school where I actually picked up the pen and the, and the pad and started writing lyrics. Like, yeah. Because I've always been very poetic since childhood. Nice. So I, I, I really discovered myself kind of mm. like from that point. So, yeah. yeah. That's how it took off. And, right. And after senior high school, we released our first debut album. Okay. Yeah, as a group. Okay. We were known as Street Disciples. Also Street known Disciples. As God's Urban Disciples. God's Urban Wow. Disciples, yeah. And um we we're kinda like the we kinda pioneered like uh Christian Christian urban that whole thing. Right. Uh, yeah. Yes. So um it was it was us. It was the four of us. And and after that after after we released the group album, mm. I think we started growing apart. Usually yeah. people speak ill of like groups falling apart but for us it was more of an amicable split right it wasn't yeah life was happening the goals were different for everyone yeah absolutely i had to leave to canada as well by the grace of god so uh, we grew apart amicably and yeah that's how come we all started doing solo projects nice but we're we're still in communication yeah Yeah. yeah. amazing stuff that's really cool so please tell us why why rap why how how did you get to that that conclusion yeah as i mentioned earlier i'm i'm a bit more poetic okay and um during senior high school we get exposed to a lot of content Mm. and yeah um i realized i i I gravitated more towards like words lyrics like yeah because the truth is that people some people might know some people might not know i'm actually supposed to be singing like but mm. I don't know how come I just <laughs> took that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah. Um, that's how the whole rap thing started. Started. Yeah, yeah. So at the beginning, was it easier? Would you say, or you would have gone back to singing in the blink of an eye? Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't easier. It wasn't easier. I always tell people I feel like singing is a bit easier compared to rapping. Really? Trust me. How so? That's that's for another day. <laughs> you, you don't want to go into that discussion <laughs> right. right now. Yeah, um, yeah <laughs> I feel like <clears throat> rapping entails a lot of like intelligence. Like right. you have to be able to scheme words. You have to consider angles, cadence, mm. metaphors. Like yeah, people, there needs to be like a yeah, flow. People yeah. underrate rap, but trust me, the art of rap is is, is not a joke. Trust right. me. Right. Yeah. Nice, amazing stuff. So, for how many years have you um, embarked on this on this musical journey? Would you say? Wow. Huh. <laughs> so, so, so I completed uh, Achimota Senior High School in two thousand and six. Okay. I would say that after completing Achimota High School, 
officially the group took off or our music careers took off like in 2008. Okay. So do the math up until now. 2008 till date. Yeah. How many years is that? 13 years? Thank 13 you very much. Years. Yeah, that's, that's oh, the crazy wow. part. <laughs> 13 years. Yeah. That's a whole child. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's a whole child. 13 yeah. years. That's wild. Yeah. Wow. Um, amazing stuff. So, for... Okay, mm. um, I was... When we're listening to Case Close... Okay. Um, I think there's a line where you talk about Jonah... Mm, and yeah, people asking yeah. you where you've been. Absolutely. And I wanted to find out whether, you know, in the 13 year span that you've been doing music, has there been like any off days? Have you gone on a break? What what has that been like? Why, If there was a break, why did that happen? Yeah, thank you for asking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there was obviously a break. Okay. There was obviously a break. Right from the time I left Ghana for Canada, mm-hmm. um, that break sort of started because... Okay. You're living in a whole new demographic. Yeah. You're starting a totally new life. Yeah. You're not, you you didn't grow up with the people there. Right. You're now starting like a whole new exactly. life. And I was there for about four to five years. So, okay. So yeah, that's imagine, a long time. Like, yeah. yeah. So aside that, I went through my wilderness, which we mm. all go through in life. I yep. had to deal with depression at some point in yeah. time. Leaving abroad. Being alone. Exactly. And, yeah. the, 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 the seasons alone, the climate changes alone can lead to depression. I can imagine. Yeah, yeah. like our people here feel like it's all rosy out there. So, <laughs> yeah, you know the cold so Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. In Canada, like you're looking at minus 40 degrees and yeah, stuff. From Chile, yeah. I'm, I'm from Ghana. What yeah. are we talking about? Like, what do you want me to you do? You sound like you're like, remembering. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it yeah. definitely is a lot, yeah, right? So yeah, so it kind of like affected the, the... And you know, as creatives or music artists to be specific, those of us who make music from the soul genuinely, mm. a lot of things affect us. Like, Absolutely. I make music from my soul. Like, yeah. So it's, if I'm not in that right place psychologically and emotionally, yeah. I don't want to turn on music. Absolutely. Absolutely. I yeah. don't want, and, this, and in that same vein... That same period also fuels the inspiration which the Holy Spirit will galvanize with your wilderness. Right, So you're able to also churn that out later when you're ready to release it. Because people can relate to that. Absolutely. So so I would say that for a period of time, I obviously wasn't actively releasing music. Right. Yeah, that's that's what I was talking about. Amazing stuff. So your wilderness where, you know, you spend time with yourself, by yourself, trying to sort of... Absolutely sort of adapt to the new environment Absolutely. and then of yeah. course spend more time yeah. growing spiritually amazing stuff um so your album this path i chose yeah. it's, it's it's an album an ep is it it's a mixtape it's a mixtape more tape. like okay yeah. so two mixtapes isn't it three actually okay but so the third body wasn't fully completed but i still count it in Oh, right. It's, okay. It's basically a mixtape trilogy. So this path I chose, chapters one, two, and, and three. And three. Right. Yeah. What, what, please tell us about that. What, what, what was that about, the, so the mixtape? So this path I chose, chapter one, was more of like the opening chapter to my musical journey. Okay. Which I released that quarter of 2010. Okay. Yeah. yeah so it was more like the opening chapter. People actually, it was a bit acclaimed to have been, it was considered... Like, people felt it should have rather been an album than a mixtape because mm, of the content. Like yeah, I said, it's like, le- I take like time heavy, to, exactly. yeah, yeah but, heavy but, stuff. But the reason why I categorized it as a mixtape is I felt like I hadn't really put out a lot of content since the group. And right. to be able to put out an album, and as we all know, you should have done some, some background work, work before. Yeah. So all those things over the period of time up until now were meant to, like, Sort of set the Absolutely. right, right, prepare Absolutely. the way for yeah. the Hence major why I thing. Them the mixtape. So. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it should have been an album. <laughs> I agree. But yeah, yeah, very, very heavy stuff. Very, very real stuff. Thank you. Um, Thank amazing you. stuff. So between those three mixtapes and this new album that we're going to be talking about, mm. how many years? I'll say over a decade, because I oh, released, okay. I released this path I chose, chapter one third quarter of 2010 okay. i released this path i chose chapter two third quarter of 2012 right and then chapter three third quarter of 2016 2015 i should think mm. so like yeah i think so yeah yeah so yeah um and then in between or like after that a few singles here and there right uh, yeah and then before this one 
came out. So Right. Amazing yeah. stuff. So through it well Yeah. The newest baby in town. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah. First off, 12 amazing numbers, um, very diverse, very real. That mm. this, that's like listening to the album, that's the impression that I get. Very real, very honest. Thank you. Um, that's heartfelt, man. Yeah, <laughs> because again, I know I'm beginning to sound like a broken record, but <laughs> a lot of people are churning out things that are... Uh, your crap. <laughs> <someone> like, <yeah. laughs> you know? Um and it's I really so I really appreciate people who put a lot of work Thanks. into you Thanks. know, into the into the projects that they work on. So it's really amazing stuff. Mm. Um but please walk us through how through it all came about. What what was the inspiration behind the album? What are some of the things that you've had to learn throughout, you know, the preparation and of course, um the making of the album. Yeah, thanks. So once again, we just spoke about the long period of time that I sort of like was in churn and music yeah. actively, right? Yeah. And that, from our calculation, would exceed like a decade. Yeah. So it only makes sense for me to put out a reasonable body of work hmm. that will make sense and and uh, uh, make up for the, the the years which I have been off the scene. Right. So even the title through it like, all yeah it yeah. talks about it makes sense like yeah it, yeah, it complements it's almost like the journaling the entire absolutely decade absolutely. Yeah. yeah oh yeah amazing stuff um so like i mentioned earlier the album is very diverse yeah very amazing songs i like how again for the first number you do like a memory lane mm. and Back in there's time. that exactly yeah. and then there's that sound bite of how someone was like you know We've been waiting <laughs> way too long for this, um, yeah. and it's just about time. Yeah. Um, that's yeah. really amazing. Yeah, thanks. I, I, I really, I know. I, again, the storyline, like it's clear to see, right? Mm. It, it's amazing because not that many people put in that much work. Thanks. Um, so that's really cool. Thanks, man. And um, I'd like us to talk about one of the numbers okay. that I'm very excited about. Okay. Um, Nanara. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, it's a lovely, lovely song. Um, yeah. But please tell us the inspiration okay. behind the song. Uh, so, um, I mean, the name, the, the song bears a name. Yep. So, for those who are new to Two Deep's music, uh, Nanaraba's song, Nanaraba is the middle name of my wife, my beloved wife. Ooh. Yeah, she's Florence Nanaraba Basie. So, um, but but this is one crazy thing people don't know. Before mm -hmm. before I left for Canada in 2012, right. I had visited my my buddy uh, Decorus, okay. who and who produced the entire project, like the this the music for the entire project. Oh wow! Yeah, he was part of the group back in the day. Yeah, Decorous. and then yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. So I visited him back in 2012. He had produced the music which he produced for Nanaraba's song. Okay. For someone, the person wasn't feeling it. I got hmm. there and listened to it. I was like, bro, yo, this will be my wedding song. Like, oh, wow. That was in 2012. Yeah. Thank you. So hey. we, we sat on that production Yeah. way up until now when That's I was ready wild. to record the album. Yeah. That's wild. So, 2012. So, <laughs> so yeah, Nana Rabbit's song is basically a song to honor my beloved wife. Yeah. Right. Yeah. How long have you been married for? Uh, since 2018. Wow, yeah. that's amazing, yeah. so, guys. Yeah. That was cool. <laughs> anyway, um, so thank you guys so much for those who are tuning in. And um, we're gonna go on a quick breather. We're going to listen to that lovely wedding song. Um, while we do that, please send in your comments and your questions. Um, and we'll be back shortly. Enjoy. I give them back. Hey family, this is Luigi McLean and you are listening to CYI Radio. He who finds a good wife finds favor before the Lord, holding hands to the altar. We do it with one accord in matrimony and agreement, pursuing this agenda. What God has put together, let no man put the thunder. Tonight and hold your Up 
late nights and I'm just writing this till now I can't believe it's happening feels like heaven's bliss while you walking down the aisle I'm staring at the eye as you take your step towards me I'm calculating each step I take care of you like the royalty you are it's like a monarchy of sorts of course I love to rule the world and I can wait to raise a family with you together we'll solve every family issue farming would never be an issue know your family gets you and when you need to cry let my shoulder beat your face why for this you as best friends we don't pull the trends we set them arguments we don't let them break us apart the pressure's off this world we shouldn't let them your honesty is the beautiful thing you never cease to amaze me my beautiful queen about to be your heart smith and i put that on everything you are priceless worth more than a diamond ring As long as we've got God in a sense, our future holds. Marriage is a journey, so we'll learn as we grow, and we'll grow as we learn. See, that's how the story goes. You are simple in a complex way, and I'm complex in a simple way. I believe we complement ourselves in every kind of way. The spirit of servitude makes me want to serve with you, and that's why every best what I get, I share with you. Together we'll kill Manjaro. His eye is on the sparrow. In despair we won't wallow as long as we stay on the straight and narrow. As long as we understand it's a covenant, not a contract. Tell George I'll be your foreman for life. On Christ the foundation, we'll build a home without strife. Since we are both writers, words could be overrated. Simply put, I will love you too, I'll never get jaded. I know this life gets overwhelming. But in such moments, I'll be a shoulder, you can lean on me And when you feel like the wind is out I'll be a soldier I'll be a soldier I'll fight for you Ooh. I'll be a shoulder I'll be a shoulder You can lean on me This is like poetic, Ankata, like poetic. <laughs> this is an amazing song, guys. It's called Nanaraba's Song. Lovely, lovely song, Julian. God bless you. Thank you. I, I, I need our Christian brothers to, you know, <laughs> to, to, you know, to take cues. It's so important. Amazing, amazing <laughs> stuff. So welcome back, guys. Uh, if you've just tuned in, the song you've been listening to is Nanaraba's Song by our lovely guest, um, um, and we've been spending time talking about his music. The album is called Through It All, and our artist for today is Too Deep. 
and it's been an amazing conversation all around, talking about his journey through music, um, talking about how he got into music and what the journey has been so far. Um, right now we're talking about his baby, newest baby, and amazing amazing songs all through thank you for keeping your questions and your comments coming in shout out to um eddie shout out to dj rev shout out to guest 316 please send in your names like include your names in the comments so that we can you know give you a proper shout out all right um so there's actually a question here by guest 316 and he says to ask about a friend called OBJ or OJB. Oh, here? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, apparently he does gospel music rap yeah, as yeah. well. Yeah. yeah. Are you still in touch with him? Do you know oh, him? Most definitely. Right? I, I crossed paths with OBJ uh, at KNUSD. Oh, right. Yeah, in school. He kind of like considers me as his mentor. Like, right. You know, we, yeah. We, we divinely met at God's appointed time. Right. Where, strange enough, Every word I uttered to him in that time ministered so to much him, to his soul, yeah. and it, it referred to everything he was going through right. and all that. So, the word in season, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Amazing absolutely. stuff. So, yo, guys, OBJ hasn't stopped ministry. In fact, I've been on his back. Like mm. he's, he's a father of a, of two children now. Ah, so, yeah. So yeah, you guys can yes, imagine. Like, yeah, it's a lot please, of work. Please bear with the brother. Like, <laughs> he, needs, he, he needs to put priorities right. Exactly. But as for ministry. I, I can assure you guys that he's not he's not walking away from ministry. So all right, yeah. amazing stuff. So guest three one six. I hope your question has been answered adequately. All right. So moving on swiftly. Um, I'm I'm still trying to like get back into the after listening to this lovely song. I'm trying to find out how how did she feel when she heard the song. Yo, boy. Like, where is it? Yeah, she, yeah, she's is she not, like the extroverted kind? She's not she? the extroverted, oh, exactly. Right. But Loki, I know still that in the beam, but she did do like. <laughs> I know, I know, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I, yeah exactly. Mm. You know the way you guys are, right? <laughs> I'm sure she yeah. really appreciated it. Oh yeah, 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 most definitely. Work. Apparently, of one work. of her her female friends right. was like, "Tell your husband to write a song." Charlie, <laughs> Charlie, I'm, that's what I was saying. Like, yeah, you know, I our know. Christian brothers, but I mean, small, small, small. Yeah, well, they're getting it. They're getting Charlie. it. Amazing uh-huh. stuff. So, um, back to the conversation. Yeah. Um, what what inspired or what usually like inspires you when it comes to music generally? Not even just with the album. Mm. Who inspires you? What inspires mm-hmm. you? What has sort of influenced the kind of music that you've been doing over the past 13 years? Yeah. So to begin with, I would definitely say it's the grace of God. I mm. mean, like, your idea who me mobile to give me this gift. Right. Because it's a very powerful gift. Yeah. Which I have also vowed that I would never misuse. Mm. Because music is a window to the soul. Like, yep. Exactly. Yep. God yep. forbid, even if I am not leaving right, I would not let that reflect in my music mm. because music is so powerful. Yeah, it has wide reach. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, um, um, I would say that is the grace of God. Okay. Real life experiences mm. is very spontaneous. Yeah. My, my inspiration comes spontaneously. Real life experiences. Yeah. It could even be from a day's conversation. Yeah. Just a word or a topic of discussion could mm. trigger an entire song. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, a sermon. Yeah. Uh, devotion. Yeah. You know, like reading the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's it's but. Above all, I would say it's just the grace of God and, and it's, it, it comes divinely from the Holy Spirit. Amazing stuff. Yeah. So essentially, having having a solid relationship yeah. with God, Absolutely. with your maker, yeah. is a huge factor yeah. Yeah. to the kind of music that you make. Yeah. It's so important. Absolutely. Amazing stuff. Um, so who are some of the people in the industry that you know you look up? look up to or you seek inspiration from or you, you look at their work and like hmm, this is something that I, I really like I'm, I'm vibing mm, with and I'd, mm. I'd love to, to do something like that yeah. you know yeah who, who are some of those people there's a Christian artist called Esso I don't know if you know of him S dot O okay yeah. I don't think I've heard about him you should check him out okay let me write that <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> you should check okay. him out yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. alright but, but for the record not 
Esso's recent content. Mm. It's like previous previous content. Like, yeah. Yeah. His previous content. Right. Solid stuff. Is it it's rap as well? Right? Yeah, it's rap. Like, rap. Yeah. He sings to like me. Right. Yeah. At yeah. some point people were even saying I resemble him. Blah, okay. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. yeah. So I think we have we have similar content and even in terms of like the the soulfulness of his production. Right. Like, yeah. Right. We have a lot in common. Okay. Yeah. Um, there are a couple more. There are a couple more people. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, Manifest has inspired me. Oh yeah. 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 His wordplay isn't yeah, it? Yeah. 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 His wordplay is yeah. really legit. Yeah. Um, there's Wretch Three Two as well. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wretch Three Two. There's a there's another gentleman in the U.S. called Oswin Benjamin. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I'm I'm I get my influences from a lot of like the old school ch- cats like mm. Lauren Hill. Mm. Honestly, even Tupac. Like fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair. I'm very fair. poetic. So, yeah, yeah. Fair. And Tupac, he was more like a prophet on a certain. Level. Really? Trust me, you need oh, to do wow. your research. Yeah. Yeah. He he said a lot of things. Cool. Back in those in the days day, that are yeah. happening right now. Like, mm. Let's not look at the secular side of him. Let's right, just look like at the context. Yeah. Right. Amazing <laughs> yeah. stuff. All right. Cool. Um. So, what are what are some of the highs and lows that you experienced when you were working on through it all the album? Huh. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. So 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 um. My I lost my mom to um kidney failure mm, god rest her soul and glory yeah. she's actually the reason why i sort of forfeited everything after my studies in canada and right. i returned to, to ghana mm. yeah because i'm the only child too so oh okay yeah yeah, so, yeah that's heavy yeah. yeah so so you can imagine yeah and um uh prior to losing her i had preconceived working on a body of work but by then i hadn't decided what title i wanted to give it right but the whole process or period of like her her, her health deterioration yeah. really was was a, was Took was a on a low side as well. Yeah. Yeah, and um, at the same time, the the highs would be um, when we conceived of my beautiful daughter mm-hmm. Eden. So it was Eden. like a banter That's between. A thank you very yeah. much. It was a banter between death and life, right? Mm. So it was like lows and highs, right. like uh, exactly. So I even have I have a song for uh, aside an Arab song. There's yeah. a song for my mother. Yeah, and, and then there's, there's a song for Eden, Eden as song. well. Yeah. yeah, exactly on the yeah. album. So as you uh, as you mentioned earlier, the way that the songs on the numbers on the body of work are arranged, arranged. is in that order of how everything happened in Amazing my life. So it's stuff, a journey man. I'm taking you through. Amazing yeah. Absolutely. Stuff. Absolutely. Absolutely. And these are the things that make me so like uh. you know, <laughs> for me it tells me you're actually paying attention to the detail. Like yeah. you're not just you know, putting everything together and be like, Oh yeah. you're, you're taking yeah. us on a journey. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um so um we're going to play another song very shortly but i want you to i know you've talked about it very yeah. briefly um and i'd like to think that that's inspired that yeah. particular song yeah but um i see two songs here mama's prayer mm-hmm. please talk to me about mama's prayer what what what, what exactly so that that about? number titled mama's prayer is like a, a skit into yeah. Rest in glory, which is a tribute to Mama. Right. Um, so Mama's prayer is the sound bite I got of Mama praying for a couple who got married. Oh wow. Unfortunately when I came back she was not in good health, so yeah. I couldn't get her to do anything Another on thing, the project. Yeah. yeah. Her her health was a priority. Yeah. So I fortunately got hold of that sound bite and I chopped it up and then kept mm. the parts which would resonate. So yeah. in, in the order of chronology yeah. on the on the on body the, of work again, yeah. after an Arab song, which is the wedding song, yeah. Mama's prayer is meant to be like Mama saying a prayer, a word of prayer to oh, bless wow. our union oh, oh my goodness. before she passed away. Mm. So after that, then she, she passed, she, she got called to rest in glory. Right. So after Mama's prayer, rest in glory, which yeah, is what we're about to listen to, yes. absolutely. Oh, wow. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, and basically yeah. rest in glory. Usually, when people hear tribute, they want to feel all sad and all of that. But, yeah. but you know, Christ, said, the the Bible says, um, 
to 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 live is Christ to die mm, again, again, right? So yeah. I I rather merge the pain with the joy, yeah, of and knowing then God, rather yeah. uplifted spirits, yeah, right, with with that content because yeah. of the the hope in Christ, yeah, yeah so I know knowing she's that she's in a better, better place, place, absolutely, fantastic yeah. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, um, I hope you are listening in and enjoying. I, I can tell you are from the comments that I'm seeing. <laughs> um, shout out to you guys. Yeah. Um, but we're, we're about to go on another interlude. Um, and this song is an amazing song. I hope you guys enjoy it. It's called Rest in Glory by Too Deep. Enjoy. Paul said to leave us Christ. And to die is gain. Mama, I know you're resting in glory. MTPP, hear me out. To every believer, death is a common, not a full stop. Real talk, I do miss my mama, but I won't stop. Life doesn't come with a manual, rather with mother. No other, nor the brother can stick closer than a mother. The penman ship off a penman. Sentimental Before the loss of my mama I was broken mental Getting dreams and revelations Of a call to rest and glory October the 30th Yeah, we were getting weary Obscene, deep struggles Untold, unseen Pops called me off the court To 11 Prior to that I was on my knees Praying to the Lord Begging, please Fit us with emotions Thinking about all the devotion The Lord knows best But we were still opposing We saw the bigger picture No, we were for the motion So we switched up our prayers Said, Lord let your will be done, thy will be done Oh no, no more Yeah, we were made from the dust Into the dust we go, yeah, yeah Times and seasons change, but we still remain the same No, no more face to avoid To rest and glory, precious you God Thy will be done On earth as it is in heaven Give and you take away. I know that you make a way. You give and you take away. By grace, I know that you make a way. You give and you take away. By grace, I know that you make a way. You give and you take away. By grace, I know that you make a way. You give and you take away. By grace, I know that you make a way. Paul said, Christ, and to die is gain. Mommy's death in Christ, yes, I do. Team her gain. I could have easily made a Christ, mummies, yes, on earth would have been in vain. Her salvation, she worked out with fear and trembling. Underneath to forgive, she stressed during her last day. Her to stifle my emotions over provocation. Be the bigger man, try to avoid altercation. During such times, stress times, try to steal all the loopholes. Avoid getting me old. Dicey as the God has to avoid me and you old. The legacy she left behind is bigger than the personality. She was meek, but now we come like a sheep. I wish I was deep, this ain't the end of the story Till we meet again, I miss you mama, rest in glory We were made from the dust Into the dust we go, yeah, yeah Times and seasons change, but You still remain the same, no No more things to avoid To rest in glory, precious you call Thy will be done On earth as it is in heaven Thy will be done on earth as it is. 
If you're just tuning in, this is CY Radio Online. We're broadcasting live from the Karama House on the Domicile St. John's Club in your road. And the song you just listened to is <coughs> Rest in Glory um, by Too Deep um, off the album Through It All. Uh, I'm trying to gather myself. <laughs> um, that that was an amazing, an amazing song. Uh, very soulful, very true, um, very, very heavy, very relatable. Um, the comments coming in, um, guest 860 says, the beat on this one is such a vibe, and you know, they say they're getting chills, and yes, I <laughs> completely agree. What's um, music with our soul, man? You know, you What's know, uh, it's, amazing it's, it's stuff. So local. It's not, it's not. <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah, uh, <laughs> fantastic, fantastic body of work. Um, so we're almost at the top of the hour, so we're going to be wrapping up um, soon. Um, but I hope you've been enjoying the show so far. Um, just a last few set of questions, and then we will sure. we'll call it a day. Um, with this album, I'm sure you've had to, of course learned a couple of things throughout the entire process yeah um but with that being said for someone who is looking into doing rap or mm. or being a creative mm. um all the same what what advice would you give them and um, what what should they be looking out for what should they how should they prepare themselves mm. what are the things they should you know should have down before they venture into into that space i would say um the only way I know how to write is by telling my story. Like, right. yeah, being, staying true to myself. Yeah. Yeah. Honesty, honesty is the best policy. Yeah. And then also simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. Hmm. Yeah. So I would say, first of all, um, obviously for some people, they are like me, they are blessed to have it as a gift. Yeah. Some people learn the skill. Yeah. However, I believe that Anything without soul in it would never make impact. True. And and soul also entails like the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. So before you pen down any stuff, that's if you really want to do this. Yeah. Pray for inspiration from the Holy Spirit. I believe the Holy Spirit would even guide you as to what to write about. Right. Like, yeah. 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 Because yeah, we are all called for a, a specific purpose. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. Yeah. So, um, guys, call on the Holy Spirit. Dig deep. Um. And don't rush. Absolutely. Don't don't Absolutely. rush into into the process. It's a very yeah. gradual process. Um, amazing stuff. Um, someone is asking about. I think we'll get back to that later. Um, I see. I see. G Five is still a bit sentimental I'm still about the song. Yeah, my heart. yeah. Don't worry. It's, it's all good. It's all good. No, man. I I say that because again, <laughs> it's hard to come across <laughs> a solid body of work. It's Glory to God. Exactly. Glory to God. So, um, Thank you. Amazing I'm stuff. Humble. All around. I'm <laughs> yeah. Um. So, a lot of like for listeners, how how do they get in touch with you? How 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 do they reach you if they want to? You know. Yeah. So yeah. on on Facebook is. Deep Thesis, D E E P T H E S I S. Speaking of which, why Deep Thesis? So it's like a, it's like a, let me say like a record label name or a oh. tag, a tag I put on myself. A friend actually suggested that when we were in sen- uh, senior high school. Oh. But but thesis is basically my metaphor for content. So deep content, oh, deep thesis. That's right. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So people who don't know how to speak English, they can't. They can't <laughs> music, like, right? Thank you. Guys, that's another thing you have to learn when you're going to music. You have to read. Uh, yeah? <laughs> Very important stuff. Oh, interesting. So what about MTT? It's MTT. M- MTPP. MTPP. So it's like when you say deep thesis or deep music, right. then you say MTPP. MTPP is like the tagline associated with deep thesis. MTPP simply 
it's an abbreviation for more than a pen and pad or more than a pen and paper. That means music Charlie. transcends a me- a j- just writing, getting up writing gibberish, like Charlie. more than a pen and pad. So like everything is, like everything, <laughs> yeah, everything MTV, is, like. Charlie, like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> everything is heavy and it holds meaning. Yeah, so. It's amazing. So, um, so you're talking about, you know, how, how your listeners can reach you, yeah. social media. So Facebook is, is deep, if you look up, Deep Thies, D E E P T H E S I S. That's the handle on Facebook. Okay. Likewise, Instagram. Okay. Um, uh, Twitter is uh, at T underscore D I G G, which is too deep in God's grace, but T underscore D I G G. Okay. Yeah. On um, Twitter. Yeah. The okay. YouTube channel is Deep Thesis M T P P. Alright, so yeah. Deep Thesis for Facebook and YouTube, and then for no, Twitter? No, Deep Thesis for Facebook and Instagram. And Instagram, okay. Twitter is, is T ah. underscore D I G G. Alright, okay, guys. YouTube is Deep Thesis M T P P. Alright, yeah. Deep Thesis M T P P. Alright, yes. fantastic stuff. <laughs> um, so, so, guys, I hope you have taken notes of those. Yeah. We'll share them again Thanks. on our social yeah. media platforms yeah. so that. Um, because there's a couple of people here that are very, very interested oh, in, wow. in your stuff. Very to like God. Clearly, very to God. like me. <laughs> <laughs> very to God. Um, so someone is asking, um, how do we book you? What's the process? Yeah, the details are there. My okay, email, on the my social. My email address, phone contact. Is, is all it's on all on Facebook, the socials. It's on the socials. Okay. Yeah, so. All right. So yeah. to do that, please reach Facebook. All right, guys? Yeah. All right. Um, hmm. So we're almost... Um, at the end of our show, uh, hmm, 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 the hour, I actually do not want to go, but the hour <laughs> has, has come to meet us, but Jillian, before we go, okay. um, anything that you'd like to share, Absolutely. um, yeah, before we wrap up very quickly, yeah, my words are simple, man, like, um, as human as we are, when we hear such uplifting content, we tend to want to put the person on a pedestal. Hmm. Listen, man, I'm the last person who wants to be put on a pedestal. Because <laughs> yeah. one thing you guys don't know, I'm I'm gradually unraveling like the, the, exactly. the layers of my life to you guys through my music. Yeah. Like I said, I, I literally put my life on the line. Yeah. So, in that regard, I'm actually writing a book about something significant which transpired while while I was in Canada. Right. Something happened as well. So right. Case right. Close is even like a double entendre for mm. for the redemptive work of Christ. Yeah. And then also something else that happened. Yeah. So, so that led to that. Yeah. yeah. So it's, um, don't put me on a pedestal. Mm. Most importantly, all I'll leave you with is let's all not forget that when you live your life with Christ, life becomes an endless hope. Yeah. But when you live it without him, it becomes a hopeless end. So mm. that's all I'll leave you with. Right. <laughs> a word. Please repeat that for them. When you live your life mm-hmm. in Christ, life becomes an endless hope. But right. without Christ, it becomes a hopeless end. A that's hopeless all I'll leave end you with. without Christ, yeah. guys. Um, that's like the best way to end the show. <laughs> I can't, there's nothing to add, really. Um, but thank you so much, yeah. Julian, for thank you, joining Jifra. us Thanks today. It's been an amazing time. Um, thank you so much to our listeners. Yes. Um, shout out to guests 316, to DJ Rev, to Gali, Eddie, <laughs> to, <laughs> guest f- yeah. to guest 54. Um, yeah. Hi, guest 54. I've seen your comments. I will <laughs> refuse to comment about this. Um, hi, China Man. Um, yeah. I hope your question has been answered. Yeah. Um, guest 860, get, yes, and guest 860. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your questions. Um, all right, Julian has one last thing to share with us. Yeah. Yes, please, Julian. Please, I, I really want to render my heartfelt appreciation to CYI Radio for right. having me. This is an opportunity I will never, ever take for granted. Mm-hmm. I'll forever cherish in my heart. God bless you guys so much. Jifa, thank you so much. Thank Julian. you, all the gentlemen here. I really appreciate this. Thank you. Um, Pastor Roderick, God bless you so much. Hmm. Kofi and Kruma, you pulled this through. Hmm. I really appreciate Kofi. this, bro. God bless you. I love you so much. And most importantly, everyone who worked on this body of work that hmm. made this a success. Right. Noah Triumph, Decorus, Bubune, Trish, Relentless GH, 
all my other friends, comrades who came together to make this happen. Geshana Kwabli for mm. co-writing with me. I love you guys so much. Right. Last but not the least, my family, my father, my beloved wife and Eden. Mm. God bless you guys so much. I love you. Amazing and my road manager. Stuff. My road manager. Yeah. I mean, Brian McQuissy. I love you, bro. I love you so much. Fantastic. Anyone who's been supportive, I love you. All right. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you for thanking us. Yeah. Um, it's been an amazing time. Um, the hour has gone by a bit too fast. Yeah. But we are at the top of the hour, 2 p.m. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, this is CY Radio again, broadcasting live from the Karama House on the Dummy St. John's Carbonier Road. My name is Chifa. This was the Lunch Break Show. Um, if you want to reach out to us on CY Radio, you can find us on Instagram at CY Radio, on Facebook at CY Radio, and on Twitter at think underscore CY Radio. Um, it's been a pleasure. Um, hosting this show and having this conversation and um, thank you guys again and again for tuning in and sharing your time with us see you same time next week for another amazing show up next is the one way show with papa elton enjoy What a sight to behold, what a splendor and shown The new Jerusalem, never so appalling the road Street covered with gold, a place to where true saints will be raptured and sold The greatest story ever told, not a matter of hope Though to some it may sound an unsuspecting soul Some call it paradise, you could call it whatever But it's the place where I'm casting my eyes Life is not a game, we're shooting the dice Heaven is real, from sin to sin, repent and resist Eternity of our infirmity, we will never be sick Fervently in the Savior's grace, gone and firm and deep Though the path chosen is narrow and steep, eternal life is for the finder to keep. The sinner indeed, what he souls to read. Oh, we're riding men soon and why not? What don't we say yeah? Now, come one if one of them is say yeah. But I will say with amazing grace, Charlie, that we swag.